this is Richard and Sally traveling. How's everybody doing? Today we have another treat. We're inside the Columbia River Gorge on the Washington side and we're going to do the Cape Horn Trail along Highway 14. Going to see some absolutely gorgeous views of the Columbia River and all the mountains that surround it. We've got a beautiful trail here, every kind of vegetation. We've got oak trees and pine trees and Douglas fir, cedar trees, ferns. You're gonna enjoy it, so stay tuned. Today's travel video is at the Cape Horn Trail in the Columbia River Gorge. From Portland, Oregon, cross over the Columbia River and travel down Highway 14, about 25.8 miles to Salmon Falls Road and the trailhead is located at the intersection of Highway 14 and Salmon Falls Road. Enjoy the video. On the Cape Horn Trail here we're going to have about a 1300 elevation um, ascent. Um, got a nice bridge we're about to cross here. The trail is very well maintained as all of the trails are in the Pacific Northwest. And I'm just looking out over at the different assortment of ferns that are along this creek bed. Uh, you got your sword ferns, looks like maidenhair ferns, maybe some asparagus ferns. So just a, a wide variety of vegetation, which makes it so lush and pretty. We're moving up the trail here. We moved up about 200 feet in elevation now so far. And the trail is, uh, it's a pretty good trail overall. Working through some uh, higher elevations here as we continue moving higher. This tr trail is a total of about seven and a half miles. We're probably not gonna make the full seven and a half. We're gonna go up to some lookout points and uh, stop there. It's about 80 degrees in Southwest Washington here. Beautiful day, kind of an overcast day. Absolutely beautiful day, kind of a uh, comfortable day uh, here in Southwest Washington. A great day for doing a hike. Uh, it's not gonna wear you down. We're working up a series of switchbacks here and uh, lots of folks coming down. We're headed up ourselves and so the trail is uh, pretty good. It's really not a hard climb to the upside, but uh, just want to stay uh, steady here. Got a mixture of Douglas fir trees here, some alders, also some maple, giant leaf maples in this area. So nice uh, looking uh, fir trees here, grow about two or 300 feet high in the wild. This area has probably been cut before and this is uh, either second or third year growth or second uh, term growth versus old growth forest. Okay, we're getting close to the viewpoint. Looks like uh, just around the corner here. This is a really good hike. I personally like to keep myself in good shape. And this is a great uh, hike to get some exercise. It's not too tough, and it's, uh, but it's steady incline. And the nice thing is it's downhill on the way down, on the way back. Sally, what do you uh, think of this trip so far? We're just about up to the first viewpoint. It's definitely a, a hike of elevation, but I like it because I like to work out. So I'm enjoying it. A different uh, set of vegetation, which is really pretty. A well-maintained trail. So I'm enjoying it, but it's uh, definitely a cardio trail. Excellent. Well, you're looking forward to the uh, view? Yes, I'm excited. That's right up the hill here. Okay, we made it to the first viewpoint. Wow, spectacular. You can see for miles down the Columbia River, which is, you know, right in the center of the gorge, uh, straight up here on a cliff. Quite beautiful, all the greenery and the calmness of the river today. It's beautiful, just beautiful. And uh, down below, you know, we can see Highway 14, and we can see all the evergreens and oak trees and Douglas fir, and 
just every variety of tree and wildflower too. So it's really pretty. There's some nice meadow areas. You can see people's homes. It's gorgeous. In here. Okay, we're walking up to the second viewpoint here, right on the edge of this cliff. You definitely don't want to step too far to your left when you're going up. But again, just absolutely gorgeous view. And there's two or three different viewpoints along this trail. So enjoy. We're at the top of the viewpoint here. Cascade Mountain Range across the water. That's Oregon and we're on the Washington side. This is the uh, Cape Horn Trail. And we're looking to the east towards Stevenson and White Salmon. The gorge formed thousands of years ago when ice melted in Montana and came rushing through here and created this uh, massive gorge. And then down below here, we got a pretty good drop, probably about 1,300 feet, and I'm not going to get any closer. Portland, Oregon and Vancouver are off to the right. That's looking towards the west. You may be able to see Highway 14 swinging around the uh, cliff there straight ahead. Just, I guess it would <laughs> okay, be we've got Pierre here. Carol. And Carol. And Carol, what do you think of this hike so far? I love it. It's a perfect example of what the Northwest has to offer. It's just gorgeous. Did you make it all the way up to the top hike? We did. Or the view, the top view? The view. Uh -huh. yeah, the second okay. viewpoint that's higher. Excellent. Maybe. So what do you think of the uh, level of expertise is it can just about anybody do this um I, I wouldn't say just about anybody but it's pretty a lot of people I mean it's not the most difficult hike but I, I'm imagining people who have knee or ankle issues might have a dip, tough time with the elevation yeah. okay well thanks a lot for stopping letting us uh, get your input on the hike here no problem You're okay no okay bye now Enjoy the have hike. a good day bye -bye. you can see the fir forest off to our right in front of us here, fir trees two and three hundred foot tall. There's all types of berry plants that grow through here. We got huckleberries, we got blackberries, we got uh, mulberries. So there's all types of berry trees and berry plants. One other nice thing along about the Pacific Northwest we're not swatting insects. Very few insects bother you here in the Pacific Northwest. Very few mosquitoes. So it's actually uh, quite enjoyable to hike in most areas. The trail drops into this meadow right uh, before we get to the uh, top here. So we'll follow this up to the final destination. Okay, uh, we're taking a shot of the lookout here over the Columbia River Gorge. The trailhead just ends right here. They've made a nice rock wall for safety and uh, just gives you an opportunity to stand here and take in the beauty. Hi, it's Sally and Richard's Traveling. Thanks for joining us again. We made a stop to go on the lower portion of the Cape Horn Trail so that we can see the waterfall and go to the viewpoint where you can see the river. So we're right, uh, right on the river here, but up high. It's just gorgeous. We can look into Oregon from here. We can uh, see all the, the beautiful greenery around us. And the, If you haven't seen the gorge before, it's a magnificent sight to come and see. Just beautiful boats all over the river, people enjoying their water sports today. We've got a glorious day in the northwest, probably in the 80s, um, nice breeze blowing, not too hot, just absolutely perfect weather, no humidity. 
Okay, viewers, we made it to our final viewpoint called the Cape Lookout Roundabout. We're across on the other side of the highway now, right along the river. It's just beautiful. It's, a, it's even a prettier view than where we were on the last two viewpoints. So you can see the Columbia River, all the greenery that runs along it, all the meadows. Uh, this land was purchased by the friends of the Columbia River Gorge to protect uh, the areas here so homes would not be built and it could just remain forest lands. So just gorgeous. Okay, this is going to be our final viewpoint. We've been um, going up and down the trail. We traveled up to 1,300 feet. We came back down. We leveled out. We ended up at the Cape uh, Lookout Roundabout. And we just want to thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the scenery. Hope you'll uh, travel into the Northwest and have your own opportunity to hike this trail. Bye, everybody.